approximately one-third of the lymph nodes in our body are contained in the neck. That means that about 100 lymph nodes can be found on each side of the neck. These lymph nodes, which are part of our immune system, function like tiny filters that trap infection or cancers that are trying to spread to the other parts of our bodies. Lymph nodes tend to have predictable patterns of drainage. They are anatomically organized into compartments in the neck. When lymph nodes are involved by cancer, surgery may be necessary. The surgery is designed to remove involved or potentially involved lymph nodes. The extent of surgery required will depend on several factors, including the size and location of the original tumor, the extent of lymph node involvement, the involvement of adjacent anatomic structures, and any prior treatment the patient may have received. A surgeon may need to remove one or several lymph node groups. This operation is called a neck dissection. There are various types of neck dissection, and they vary according to which lymph node groups are removed and whether any other anatomic structures need to be removed. Keep in mind, it is the extent of the disease that primarily determines the extent of the neck dissection. Neck dissections are performed through an incision or incisions in the neck. The incisions vary in location and length depending on the extent of the planned procedure. Many important structures are found within or in close proximity to the neck. These include large blood vessels, nerves, muscles, lymphatic channels, salivary glands, the larynx, trachea, esophageal, and even the lungs. Neck dissection is intended to remove abnormal tissue while preserving normal tissue. Once the removal of abnormal tissue has been achieved, the skin is laid back in place. Drains are usually placed under the skin, the incisions are closed, and patients are brought to the recovery room. Sometimes the skin of the neck is involved with the tumor and must be removed. In this case, a flap may be required or the skin must be shifted from adjacent areas to achieve closure. Sometimes neck dissection is performed in conjunction with other procedures. Sometimes neck dissection is required on both sides of the neck. Your surgeon will advise you as to the extent of your surgery, your expected hospitalization, your recovery time, and any additional treatment or treatments required, since these factors vary significantly from patient to patient.